Hi friends, how are you all? I miss you guys so much. And I wanted to share a fun story with you today. It's called Winnie the Witch. And this story was written by Valerie Thomas and all the pictures in here were illustrated by Cookie Paul. Are you ready? Okay. Winnie the Witch lived in the black house in the forest. The house was black on the outside and black on the inside. The carpets were black. The chairs were black. The bed was black and it had black sheets and black bank blankets and even the bat tub was black. Winnie lived in her black house with her black cat, Wilbur. He was black too. And that is how all the trouble began. When Wilbur sat on a chair with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. She could see his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie could not see him at all, so she sat on him. When Wilbur sat on the carpet with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. She could see his eyes anyways, but when Wilbur's eyes was closed and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all, so she tripped right over him. Oh no! One day, after a nasty fall, Winnie decided something had to be done. She picked up her magic wand and she began to wave it around. Abracadabra! Wilbur was a black cat no longer he was now a what color cat is he now he was a green cat you're right now when wilbur slept on a chair when he could see him when wilbur slept on the floor when he could see him and she could see him when he slept on the bed but wilbur was not allowed to sleep on the bed. Uh oh, what do you think she's saying to him? She's probably telling him, please come off. So Winnie put him outside in the grass. When Wilbur sat outside in the grass, Winnie couldn't see him even when his eyes were wide open. Can you see the cat in the grass? He's right there. Winnie came hurriedly outside, tripped over Wilbur, turned three somersaults, and fell into the rose bush. Uh oh. Did you see her there? This time, Winnie was furious. She picked up her magic wand, waved it five times. And abracadabra, Wilbur had a red head, a yellow body, pink tail, blue whiskers, four purple legs, but his eyes were still green. Now when he could see Wilbur wherever he was, whether he was on a chair, when he lay on the carpet, when he crawled onto the grass, she can always see Wilbur. And even when he climbed to the top of the tallest tree. Do you see Wilbur way up high in the tree? Oh no. Wilbur climbed on the top of the tallest tree to hide. He looked ridiculous and he knew it. Even the birds laughed at him. Wilbur, Wilbur was miserable. He stayed at the top of the tree 
all day and all night. Oh no. How do you think Wilbur feels? Look at his face. Yes, he does look sad and embarrassed. Next morning, Wilbur was still up on the tree. Winnie was worried. She loved Wilbur and hated for him to be so miserable. Then Winnie had an idea. She waved her magic wand. Ready? What is she going to say? Abracadabra. Wilbur was a black cat once again. Then Winnie waved her hand again and again and again and again. Abracadabra. And what do you think is going to happen when she waves her wand? Can you take a guess and tell me what is going to happen to the house? Let's find out. Now, instead of a black house, she had a yellow house with a red roof, a red door. The chairs were white with red and white cushions. The carpet was green with pink roses. The bed was blue with pink and white blankets. The bathtub was gleaming white. And now Winnie can see Wilbur no matter where he is. Oh, you see Wilbur? I see Wilbur too. And that's the end of the story, Winnie the Witch. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. And I hope to see you again. Bye.